In this video, I am going to show you quickly three tips to make your dashboard and report attractive and interactive in Power BI. Before we head over to my laptop, make sure you subscribe to my channel and show your support. Tip number one, create searchable drop down slicers. When we create slicers in Power BI report, we make them drop down list, but it is very important to make them searchable as well. So for example, if I have product names and I want to find product nine, then I will have to scroll down through these multiple products to find product 9 and my product 9 is at the bottom of this list then I will have to scroll down to the end and select this product. If I make my slicer searchable it will be easy for me to search that product. To do that click on these three ellipses button and click on search and this will enable search text in your slicer. So you will have a search box where you can type the name of product and it is pretty simple and it will save a lot of users time and it will make your report user friendly. Tip number two is converting a slicer into button. It is a good idea to convert slicer into button so that it will look little attractive and interactive for user to make selection. So let's see how to do that. When you create a slicer, make sure you convert it into a list instead of drop down. So once you convert the slicer into a list, select the slicer, go to properties of the slicer, go to general and under orientation select horizontal instead of vertical and now you can resize the slicer and each of the unique values of the slicers will convert into a button. Now you can see these are little attractive and interactive as well. So this looks like a button but they are not. So when user click on any of these values user will get a feel like he is pressing button not a slicer. Tip number three is increase the height of your page and make it scrollable. So suppose I want to add few more elements on this page but I don't have space. To do that, what we can do is increase the height of this page and we can add new elements just below these existing elements. To increase the height of this page, let's go to properties of page, click on page size and here under type select custom. Now let's go to height and increase the height of this page. Let's take 1200 and press enter. Now you can see you have additional space where you can drag few more additional elements but you can see the view of this page is not correct. You can't see scroll bar to enable scroll bar of this page. Let's go to view and under page view select actual size. This will show the actual size of your page and you will see there is a scroll bar enabled which you can use to scroll down and scroll up. I hope you like these tricks. Please share this video with your friends, like this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit subscribe and bell button.